information on the email address? I did. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Awesome. That's for number 10. Uh, who's got a cell phone? If you do, it should be off. No, we can check the time. That's what we're after. Oh, time. No. Is it? <laughs> Six o'clock. Okay. There an Let's go a meeting, a meeting to order. Uh, you took roll call? Yes. Everyone? Okay. Uh, do I have a motion accepting the minutes? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Uh, any changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Uh, Vincent. Lozano. Lozano. Vincent Lozano. Vincent. Come up, have a seat. I spoke to Vincent before on this. Um, are you, are you, you said you're going to be owning part of that, or are you just? Uh, yeah, I'm going to get into the owning yeah, portion of it. Sir. Are you familiar? Have you ever bartended before? Yes, I have. Okay. So you're familiar with all the laws and, mm -hmm. and everything, and you got to make sure. Don't uh, never give them the benefit of the doubt. Always card them if you have to. Right. Uh, one of the things that we really want you to do is call the police. The police are your friends. Anything happens in there, call the police. Don't try to handle some stuff yourself. That usually escalates into something bigger. Okay. And so, and when the police come, always cooperate with them. So, does anybody else have anything? Roll call, Mr. Chairman. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah, Mr. Chairman. The, the reason you're called in front is, is um, uh, licensed applicants are not called in front of us unless there's some discrepancy on uh, back on the record. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking at yours, in in uh, January you had an OWI in Greenfield. Correct. Can, uh, what happened? If you just explain, uh, what was was there an accident? Was anybody hurt? What? Um, we were watching the ball game. End of the game. Uh, family came home. They were hungry. Instead of uh, making something to eat, I decided to run the get them all some food, and on the way home, I got pulled over in my parking lot. And uh, <clears throat> they said that I was lane deviating when I was making the turn in. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he had smelled alcohol, and I said, yeah, I had been watching the game. Um, but I did also mention, you know, I don't have, a, I don't have any background that, that does this. Um, you know, I would hope that I could get the benefit of the doubt. Um, but... Put you through I'm the going, tests. I'm going through the test. I'm going through the court proceedings right now. Right, uh, but he put you through the test. Yes. I said, do you remember what you blew or? Yeah, it was uh, 1.5. Point zero one five. Point, yeah, I'm sorry. Did I give? I, get, I think I gave myself way too much. <laughs> sorry. All right. um, well, that's the reason that you, that you're here, and and um, anytime, uh, you know, if there was a pattern down down the road where it happened again so you got to be careful you're going to be attending bar um i don't know what the policy is at that bar whether they allow you to drink behind the bar if i own the bar my bartenders would never drink but that's my decision not yours it's legal to do it but you know that's your decision so just be careful because uh you know you, you got one it doesn't get any easier yeah yeah i found out all right okay any further discussion mr chair all the way um Mr. Lozano, how'd you get here tonight? I got a ride. And and I see you live in Greenfield, but you're going to work here on the east side of West Dallas. Do you expect to get your driver's license back soon? Or? Yes. I'll be getting an operator's license soon. Okay. So you think you're going to, you're going to get a vocational? Yeah. Okay with that. Okay. Because clearly we wouldn't want you breaking the law going back and forth. Exactly. Exactly. But also learning my lesson on this, uh, I'm going to get very familiar with cabs as well. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Now it's going to go in front of the council on the second. Is the second? Second. And uh, the full, full council. So on the third, the license will be available. Uh, Between 10 and 3. And if you don't pick it up that day, then they mail it. Okay. Correct? Correct. Okay. That's yeah. it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for coming. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is another new application for the alibi. Uh, obviously, you know why you're here. 12 this last year. Have you ever bartended before? Yes. 
Uh, we have a little bit of problem with this bar, just with noise. Nothing yeah. else. Yeah. The so we need to keep the doors closed in the summertime as much as you can. Yep. We you have somebody that lives real near you that was a light sleeper. Oh, yeah. So no, we have a policy there now where the doors are closed at 10, if not earlier. So that's at least what the manager said. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so you just... Anybody else have anything? Uh, well, yeah, I would just ask the budget 2009. Well, in January, you had underage alcohol. What, what happened? Um, I went with uh, a friend of mine and the guy she was seeing at the time, and uh, we went to this little sports bar in Waukesha. And I was sitting there, and he went up to the bar. I was not of age to drink. I've grown up in bars. My parents were bartenders. But um, he goes up to the bar. He's like, you guys want anything? I was like, I'm okay. I, I don't want anything just because we're in Waukesha. I know how they can be here. Plus, I'm not going to risk anything. And uh, somebody, I don't know if it was a patron or the bartender themselves, which kind of baffled me, uh, called the uh, Waukesha Police Department, and they came in. Um, my friend had a beer and a shot glass in front of her, and there was another shot glass on the table, and the guy that she was seeing had a beer, so they automatically assumed I had been drinking. And How old were you then? I was 19, if I'm not mistaken. And Mr. Chair? Oh, my. Oh, my. So that would bring us to June of 12 mm -hmm. in Brookfield. Yes. What happened there? Um, I was leaving a friend's house. I hadn't eaten or slept uh, that day. And um, I, we had gone to a hookah bar. And uh, I decided I wanted to leave his house. I didn't want to crash there. Um, I'm driving home. I had two two or three beers that night at the hookah bar. And um, I'm driving home and I'm heading down Greenfield. And uh, I see a Brookfield police officer come behind me. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I go to light my cigarette. The alignment on my car was off and it would pull to the right. So I, uh, I go to light my cigarette and my car starts deviating the lane. That's originally why he pulled me over. And one thing led to another, uh, field sobriety, so on and so forth. And, uh, no. So see, you see the, the situation we're in here is a bartender. You're going to be forced to make decisions for your customers sometimes. Mm -hmm. And on at least one occasion, you drove when you shouldn't have. Yes. You know whether or not you know, you're saying it was your car's fault or the cigarette's fault. Oh no! I, the reality I is, you were over, responsibility yeah, for that. You were over the legal limit. Mm -hmm. So you know, and then we. That, that's one of our biggest concerns is bartenders not knowing or caring enough to make sure their customers aren't getting into trouble. I, I understand that entirely, yes. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Do we have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Can you hear what I said about the license? Mm -hmm. One more. Okay. Thank you very much. Kelly Pierce. This is the second time for her? This is the, this is the second time. Non appearance of uh, country. Uh, second time for Kelly. And she had this heartfelt page she wrote about. She couldn't be. I had hard time getting her handwriting. Is Kelly the, the Theo Harris here? No, Kelly? No. Move the dial, Mr. Chairman. Second non appearance. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Jessica Rojo. Mr. Chair? All in the way. Um, Jessica, I see here that you had an OWI. You heard what we told the people ahead of you. I did, you yes. Attention. Okay. Yep. And uh, I guess you didn't put on here where you think you'd be working. Oh, at the Drunken Duck on 59th and Burnham? Okay. Yep, on the side. And Drunken you have experience Duck. anywhere else? You've been bartending, you live on the east side, right? You've been working no, I live on off of 37th and National. I oh, live okay. with my parents. Okay. 
Yep. I was reading the address. So, have you bartended anywhere before? Um, well, when I worked at Red Lobster, I was able to bartend there. Like, I helped out when they needed yeah, help behind kind of the bar. Pouring drinks. For yeah, people. and then um, actually, for like the past year, I have been helping out because I'm a nurse. So every other Saturday on my weekends off, I help out there. So he just asked me to get the license. So I've been down there, but he's always been with me. So. Okay. Only there in Red Lobster. The I'll only. Move approval. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Great deal. Um, yeah. You're good. Oh, okay. You're good. Have yeah. a great um, night. Mr. Thank Chairman. you. Um, well, uh, well, Officer Johnson, if you can, what you're saying. Pulled him outside, and then he was talking on his cell phone, and then he got into the driver's seat of his car, and then I just knocked on the window, and I said, you're not really going to drive away, are you? And then he got back out of the car and said that he's waiting for a friend oh. to pick him up from the Panda Hut. Oh, good. <laughs> so, obviously. He gave a break. His car was <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. so the question is, is there really somebody walking back in Panda Hut? Well, I waited up there for a little bit. I can go back out and check, but. <laughs> Okay, he's probably know, calling somebody from somewhere right now. He would have gotten a car and drove away. Well, he did get into, he had the keys to enter the car, the, the lights blinked, and then he went in and sat in the driver's seat. And at that point... You... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he was going to drive away. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not the first time someone may have... No. And he drove here, we know he did. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You called uh, Rachel? Rachel, Rachel told Rachel. Our, Is Rachel here? I think we see Rachel's boss here. Was, was Rachel, have you spoken to Rachel recently? I talked to her uh, this morning. Uh, she was at a funeral. She said she called Ann. Mm -hmm. She did call Ann. Is there a note on her jacket? <clears throat> I guess you're going to appear. Oh, uh, the 22nd non appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, the last time she didn't appear, though, right? Or have you seen her? It looks to me like there's only one appearance. Oh, well, you're going to call the, the, You're the coming 26. up anyways. Yeah. Am I not? Is, is John next? Yeah. yeah, John's next. Come on up. Okay. And, then, and the back page. The last meeting I was here. I, I think I, I heard two guys talking about somebody who was working on Chili Beans. I assumed it was her record. Anyways. Okay. Uh, here's, in case you haven't seen it, yeah. two pager. Yeah. Mr. Chair? All in way. So. John, do you hire people without licenses often? No. Here's um, our manager just opened up a bar, gave us very short notice, okay, right. left, and that's not that big of a deal. But we had, when she opened up, we had like four or five people quit on the spot, and we were out. She was supposed to be training. Typically, we won't even take an application unless they have a bartender's license. Um, but because of the situation we were in, we said, okay, well, we'll start training you, apply for a license, and if you can get a license, we'll hire you. And she currently isn't working for us because I, we told her, if you get a license, now that we have somebody in place, we had said, if you get a license, come talk to us. Maybe we'll fit you in the schedule now. But doesn't look like, hey, she will. Uh, <laughs> that's probably not. That's, that's not a lot of well, events, though. But we are going to hold it simply because she did call in. You know? Okay. So we will hold it to our next uh, recess meeting. Who's there? Uh, yeah. yeah. Too good. But, you know, and, and the concern is, you know, have you read the police report? I read the police report. Okay. Right. And, and I guess the guy didn't apparently spent hours there, but right. him and another guy split two pictures, and there was a... Saw it as a domestic issue with his girlfriend or whatever, right. and it certainly could have been handled better than it was. Absolutely. You know. um, okay, so that's why you're here now. Yeah. So. Right. I don't know for what reason. Um, I never received a phone call because, again, she was training with the current manager over there. Manager said she had to leave for some family issue, and not that it's okay for her to leave the unlicensed bartender. Bartending while she um, leaves, especially without contacting me for whatever reason, but that is what happened. Okay. And, Moved. Sorry, and Mr. Byer, you failed to appear at a court date as well for someone's complaint. Why weren't you at the court date? 
Um, I just for this issue for this. Not for this, but a building code issue. Yeah, that yeah. was we we took care of that. We were here the last time, the first time. Um, I just recently moved, and apparently it, I didn't get the uh, mail. It was going to the wrong address. I had actually heard that I missed that summons and complaint meeting um, from somebody. Came into the city hall the next day and said, I think I missed it. What happened? Then we were here, me and Mark, and talked to you guys. Whatever that was, two months oh. ago. Okay. Yeah. That was on the 58th? Correct. That was on the 58th. You yeah. still have to make a city attorney happy, though, not just us. Right. You have to get all your court dates or there will be fines issued against you. Oh, so where does that, that stand was, now? Yeah. At this point, it was because we didn't have service at the time. It was mailed. It was dismissed. I just chose not to reissue it because it's dumb. But if it happens in the future, it would be served on you the next okay. time, and then we would be dismissing it. Just yeah. Be aware of that. Gotcha. So okay. call her tomorrow. He's in. Okay. 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 Do I have a motion on it? Place in front. So second. Right. Let's see. Okay. You can further discussion. Right. Well. I'll I don't All in favor? Aye. Aye. If you don't need it, I'll Close. keep it. If you need it, it's yours. I don't need it. It's not a... All right. Go ahead. Thanks a lot. Sorry, guys. Hugo. Hugo Juarez. Hugo Juarez. This is Hugo Juarez. This is his uh, first appearance. This is the first. You know, give him a second chance. Make sure you get it out to him so he gets that. Is that they, they have... Got no problem. No, no, no. What happened with um, <laughs> Donnie? Right. How come she doesn't run? No, DM. That What's was that? her place. Lost Pop, pop, pop. pop. It's gonna change. Help us with that I last name. Change it. What's your last name? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> well, he knows it. So. What nationality is that? Honey. What nationality is that? Laos. Laos. Okay. Okay. okay uh, last time you were here, we were talking about uh, inspection. Yes. Plumbing inspector, something with a drain that you said you fixed. I left the message with the plumber. Plumbing inspector? When was that? The, after the I get the. Uh, after the meeting. After, after the uh, after the last meeting. Yeah. Then the, uh, at the dawn, the, I called to the plumber, and uh, he's not there. I left the message in there. So that I was just, it. Mr. Mike, something like that. I don't know. The plumber. Mike Romans. So let's say I leave the uh, message with uh, he gave his phone. So where do we sit with the court on this? He failed to appear at his reopen hearing, so his case was not reopened. I see that you filed for another one. Sure, I, f I filed it two times because the uh, the date days, the, the morning time, I, I know that I can go to the court. But the after the, uh, in the afternoon, you know, I keep working, working, that I forgot. And uh, that's why I missed the date day. Then after the next day, I go to the uh, court and reapply again for a reopen. Then second time, then I missed again. When is your court date now? Right now, it's uh, on 6, on 2.30. Which what day? Uh, on uh, July, no, uh, April 6th. 6th? April 6th yes. would, be, would be April 16th. No, April 6th, I'm right there on... April 6th is a Saturday. It's a Saturday. I don't think it's a Saturday. Yeah, court's not open on a Saturday, so you have to check that, but... Sure, I will. Uh, I so you're saying the plumbing inspector has not been through there to inspect? I didn't see him so often there, but the, uh, after that, I hired the plumbing to fix it up everything there. After that, I didn't see him. Okay, what you need to do is you need to contact him and keep come, even come down here. They're here from uh, like 8 to 9 in the morning. You know, if you come down here or call, you have to talk to him personally. He's got to check this out. You realize you got a $10,000 judgment here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it's got to be taken care I of. I think that he, he don't accept my message on the phone or what, but because in the morning I call, I mean, when they open the door, my door, I call him right away and I'm done my plumbing. Yeah. If I, if I was you, I would come down here uh, between and 8 and 9, you know, as soon as you can, oh. and ask to speak to him. Okay. You know, uh, it, it's possible he didn't understand the, the, the number or something or who it was or whatever, but you need to take care of this before your next yeah, court date. Yeah, and also the plumber guy who come to fix that, he told me he's going to pay for the, uh, uh, for the fee by himself. That's I pay with the labor, with the 
Free, you know, but they see it free. That's free. between you, you and him. But what happens if he comes? It's not done when he comes to. It's the, the inspector hasn't ruled. That one isn't in a municipal court for it yet. He could issue a summons and complaint against it. The one yet I have in for municipal court is for health code violations. Oh, okay. So we got Jack. So he's got two different. Oh, no. So you're telling us that you just paid for the labor. Your plumber was taking care of the permit fees. Yeah, then he said. So I your your plumber may very well not have paid the plumber fees, correct? I don't. Know, but uh, he told me that uh, he already contact with the. Uh, city then they uh, he said he already talked everything done then uh, you have to pay me with the uh, uh, labor and the uh, city pay a uh, city fee and uh, that's i pay both of them with him he said he'll go take care don't worry that's uh, i believe well start to worry because you, you got you, def you definitely got these fees and you need to get this taken care of i i think you need to put this a priority and come down here and and get it taken care of. Don't don't worry what he said. This is your business. You're the one that's on. Uh, your, your name is on the line here. I don't so, know. I thought that he's there. Yeah. Well, but that's it's that doesn't matter. Extremely possible that he charged you for plumbing and for a fee and never took a permit out. So uh, uh, very possible. So, but so I you need. To call them then. Yeah. Well, I would call, I would come you, here. Come here and talk to the inspector. Sure. Get it taken care of because uh, there's a. Uh, you're looking at some big fines. Yeah. So I will be here tomorrow morning then. Excellent. Between eight and nine. Sure. Okay, we're going to hold this again, but you need to make that a priority. I, 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 you got very good food there and everything. You're probably a good cook, but, but you need okay. to run this part of the business. I here. thought the uh, inspector, he's accepted already. He's a. Uh, Already done. I didn't see anything after there. After he figured out everything done, I thought he come to pay. Then the inspector will be okay. That's what I thought, and I was still ignoring. Yeah. You know. Well, I I think you personally you should uh, go talk come and take care of it. Yes. You know, and so and don't okay. wait. No, don't don't don't. I'll don't be wait too here much tomorrow longer. morning. Then I'll okay. keep calling the uh, the guy who's the so the so the second floor. Just, just go and talk to your inspector floor. first. And if they didn't take out a, a permit, well then then you talk to your guy. But but uh, come down here tomorrow and, and uh, sure, between I'll eight be, and nine they're they're going to be here to talk to okay. people. Just come to the counter, okay? Sure. It's upstairs, second floor. Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. And also for the uh, <coughs> my court dates, I. I thought Jai because it's a lot of work and then my mind is not so yeah. good. You know, the so morning time I realize I will go to the court, but in the afternoon my work keep working, working, and I'm, I miss that. After yeah. the wake yeah. up the morning, you then or something, yeah. or write down your calendar. Yeah, yeah. make it a priority. Yeah. Wake up the morning, I really like and I go see you right away. You know, then, but to make the. Uh, they there again, then I miss again. Yeah, well, don't don't miss this one. Okay. <coughs> sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank well, you, Robert. Yeah. Ubalak, no, no, I uh, okay. Robert, I called me and. And he, also, he, uh, would you please reduce my penalties for me, please? I'm too much for me. I'm gonna? too tight on my money right now. You have to ask the municipal judge to reopen the case. That's why you've reopened here. Oh, sure. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Um, right. Thank you. He, 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 he had called me up and he had gone to court and he gave me an extension on it. He's, he's got to get an attorney because it's all screwed up or something, I guess, with that. Like he said, and he says he doesn't have anything new to tell us. You know, and he, he asked if he still should come down. And I says, no, it yeah. really doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. And I says, uh, you know, but you this need the mortgage that got bought out. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? This is where his mortgage got bought off by somebody. Yeah, else. something like that. Yeah, and, and it's still in the fire damage. Within last week, check. Wednesday, and the case was reopened, and then the, we said, I think we set it for a trial. So. Yeah. Okay. So next thing we have is the uh, the ordinance to repeal uh, uh, license. No, this isn't the. Okay, we're, we're, we're the, this is a carnival one. Okay, let's go. Let's jump to number twelve because I think this gentleman wants to speak. Yeah. And, so I know, and I know Diane wants to speak, or at least hear, or at least listen on the carnival. I think. Okay, why don't you come on up here? Let me, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think what what he wants to do is he wants to hear us first oh. debate what is on there, what are the ramifications, where is it going, and then he wants to speak after okay. after is we decide true? because there's things on on the ordinance um, that that says 
a carnival can't be within, I think it's 400 feet or 500, 500 feet. feet. Yeah. Well, that's going to eliminate a Macca Heart of Mary, St. Right. Aloysius. Uh, you're going to wipe them all out. Um, or we're going to wipe them right. all out. Right. Now, I don't know if we can make changes to this. We certainly can. And, and I think that's what we need to do to okay. adjust this, that, that we can fit these into our, uh, our city as, as these um, events have been going on for years. And, and I think that's why he's here. He wants to hear what are we going to do because they're getting that they have to come for the application and the application at this time reads that it can't be within the 500 feet. Mr. Chair, it's uh, the only way I, go. Um, I guess I'd like to see what is it we were trying to accomplish with this new ordinance. Are you familiar with the ordinance? Where, yes, where, where in the yes. problem okay. was, and I think we were concerned about this kind of circus-like carnival thing that was going to try to set up on Highway 100, am I correct? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I don't think in general we were trying to make any sweeping changes to our church festivals. Well, church festivals, I think, were something other than carnivals. Yeah, yeah, but but somehow all, a lot of these other things that are ancillary to church festivals and the downtown bid events mm -hmm. is suddenly getting swept in under the, under this new ordinance. And I guess, you know, what's the point? Can we just? I guess I don't know where to this. How did, was this ordinance something to be copied from another jurisdiction that works that they use there? I understand the value in that, because but apparently it's not a good fit for West Dallas. There was some concern I know over the church festivals as well due to the problems that we're having, the, the police presence there mm -hmm. that's required, and the, also the noise issues and other things like that. So I think that was some of the some of the concern as well as the circus that might have been going at Coles. Right. Reference. So what are we what are we trying okay. to do and, and how do we how, do it? How do we how do we how do we come up five hundred feet? That was discussed with the zoning department planning. Okay. So we're standing in because five hundred feet from residence that kills every single church festival. Church festival. Well, maybe not church maybe not the one on Lincoln. Which I'm Lincoln on <laughs> yeah. no. The distance well, requirements could be exempted from the yeah. ordinance if that's what you decide to do with this. And would we exempt it for Church festivals. festivals or yeah, nonprofit organizations. Again, I'm thinking about the downtown bid, you know, because certainly, you know, all those activities happen within 500 feet of at least my residence. Right. You also could exempt bid events if, if, if there's any events in the bid area. Well, as well. In the C1 event. event. A community event. Well, but then we might have to call something a community event in order to get the exemption. When we would not want the other things that a community event designation Rainbow. allows, the alcohol. See what I'm saying mm -hmm. on that? So, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem exempting the bid. I don't. I don't. I haven't talked to the other alderman of the district about it. I don't know what what the bid director might think about it. <coughs> See a thumbs Plug up over the there. Well, if you can take a look at the definition of the carnival show. Should we tweak what the definition of what we're trying to accomplish, what we're trying to exclude under under, under this? I mean, what, what are we worried about? Live animals? Are we worried about? Uh, you also could repeal the entire ordinance too if it's not working. It's option as well. Well, what's not working in the ordinance? The distance. The I, I have no clue because I don't know where it came from. Yeah, well, who, who's it? Who introduced this? Well, other, well our committee did, but where did this come from? Just somebody had who requested to, it. Who, yeah, who requested it? Multiple this? meetings. I know there was. I, I can't remember. It was written about two years ago. <laughs> Is that us? Well, you said we at multiple meetings. I'm sorry, it is the for people of the city. Oh, okay. The, uh, the police department was in it, fire department, there was a variety of people who came together to write this ordinance. Well, if there's something, is this, this, this includes now, in a couple of instances, all the church festivals. And that's yeah, not, that's well, not the first thing that I would do with the well, 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 Church festivals. Well, but they, well then well, now, you, gonna, now we have to define a church festival. But see, so, take a look at Carmel's. What, what the difference is, Carmel includes a lot of what a church festival yeah, has. Yeah. Some don't have amusement and uh, animal, <laughs> animals or giant slides. Or well, let's go back animals. to the problem. This carnival, who was going to put that on? Was that a private, for profit entity that was, or was it the Shriners, or was it, does anybody I remember? Know. Does anybody remember? No I have no clue. Your district, you know? I have no, no idea. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> the gentleman may have something like yeah, no, He's so from McNamara, so Mary. Okay. He's just concerned yeah. that. Oh, okay, yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's no citizen participation on the meeting agenda, though, so I don't know if you can right. address the, oh. the council at this point, or the committee at this point. Well, even if, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, th I think if, if none of us asked for this, 
and we don't see a value in it's it, a, and it's solving a problem that we didn't think existed other than this, and that, that carnival never happened, did it? Not that I... No, I, I, I think they didn't get the, I think it's the whole thing just folded up money-wise, I think there was no... There's no there's repeal no, this. There's no, well, it's nothing to repeal yet, we haven't voted on it, so... No, it's in place right now. It's in place, well, it's been in place for two yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah, it's been this is, two years. This, this is law. Yeah. And the, I believe last year at the council meeting before last summer, that's really when everyone good. became aware that it was affecting the church festivals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, uh, well, you can make a motion. Make a motion with this uh, this particular uh, ordinance be repealed. Second. Are we taking any baby out with the bathwater on this? Is there something in here that we would intend to keep that? Well, they can come back with that. We can always put something back in there. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's the concern if there was the animals or like the circus that would come there, then there won't be any really permits for them. There's a, a prior shows and exhibitions ordinance that was in place before this that didn't have a lot of, I guess, meat to it in a sense. Right. It was very antiquated. So that would be a concern, possibly. If that's what, if you're looking to avoid it. If not, then they could come here. I mean, permits are still required, inspections are still required. I don't believe there would be if you repealed the ordinance for. But permits were re were required in the past for a church festival. There are special, at least the beer side of it and all that other stuff, right? For those, yes. Yeah. Not for a particular carnival, though. Okay, so we'd be opening the door for. Oh. We could also come back with something. Like something like about if animals is the only concern, you know, people having live animals. Well, I think there's also the little concern of like people having those. Those giant, those like jumpy things of moon or whatever those things. Are. Oh, the moonwalk oh, thing. Moonwalk or? thingies, and I don't know if there's other things that people. I guess from the economy, I don't know if this is in other cities too that people will be setting up. Basically, they're like their own private carnival. Do you mean like we like we do a meetings. national night out? Yeah, national night out. I mean, they would have fallen into this, I assume. Right. Sure they would. And they're way closer than 500 feet. Right. And they have a bounce house and a rock wall and a jail and sometimes a dunk tank and they got the train driving around. Yeah. So uh, I think let's I think we repeal it and we'll see what happens and we can also okay. And and crazy summer is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we, we got a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose. So it's just for it's... clarification, at this point now, this will go to the council on on Tuesday. Yes. And and um, at that point, then any of the church festivals after that day could function as normal, as they have in the past. Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay let's go back to on. number ten, and that's what we have the extra little. Uh, I think that's all your problem. Uh, okay, we got the extra little note notation uh, from Ann. For a meeting here. Thank you for coming. Uh, okay, what was this on again? Dun, dun, dun. Well, we're re essentially rewriting the <coughs> the expert. application for new 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 licenses and changing how we take away licenses. Is that correct? In a nutshell. Well, we have the applications. We just proposed the new. No, that's, 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 that's the bartender. That, that's 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 for bartenders. We're, we're talking about. Right. This is about the plan of operation. Yeah. This is the revocation process right. yeah. type of thing. We need a better detailed map. We'd want. So so is this all new, or is this something that just was tweaked and changed, or? This is fairly new. It's a um, attorney post sort of in a sense copied and just tweaked it to, to Milwaukee's ordinance. Because um, they have a process, and it was upheld, I believe, in the Court of Appeals, their process, just to, I guess, confirm things, just for the right to premises, the floor plan, and plan of operation. So it gives people the idea, it gives you the process of how some um, revocations work. So if they come to a revocation hearing, they can't say, like, oh, we don't know this process works because it's actually in the ordinance, so that everyone should have notice of that. And then the right to premises and floor plan gives us a better idea of what's going on, making sure we're having the right, correct licenses, they're not running, you know, extra huge premises or having a special part of the bar that's not actually listed in the application. Mm. Mr. Okay. Chair? Oh, don't worry. Um, one of the things that does concern me that Milwaukee talked about, they had a problem bar on Water Street, maybe just off of Water Street. And in, and in this bar's application, original application, they had said that they would be open every day for lunch. And 
and uh, after a period of time in operation, they realized that lunch wasn't work. They didn't want to be open for lunch. Mm -hmm. So they s cut their hours to like to turn into being a three o'clock opener. And my understanding was that the Milwaukee equivalent of our license and health committee was going to say, well, you said you're going to open every day at 10 o'clock. You have to open it at 10 o'clock. And now as a licensee in the city, my, app my application, I put it in for the every hour available on the idea that although I'm not planning on opening daily, I may for a special occasion, you know, tailgate party or, you know, there may be an occasion when I want my hours to be beyond my normal hours, still within the bounds of the law. I, I just want to make sure that, that we don't, when someone comes in with every intention of, say, serving lunch, or even breakfast and opening, you know, at a certain time, and then they decide to change their hours. That that we don't hold that against them, you know. Now, I'm not saying we necessarily would, or even that Milwaukee was, but as it was reported in the media, they were they were talking about, well, you know, this this one particular restaurant or bar off of Water Street had said they were going to go for lunch, and you know, shame on them, they're not serving lunch. We should shut them down for that. Well, they were being shut down for other reasons. We uh, should we should shut down people for the reasons that they deserve to be shut down, not that they just decided that lunch wasn't profitable for them. I, I don't even know if that's where we're in here. That it, we're, we're so that would be in here. The hours of operation would be in here. Right. right. The hours of operation are listed on there, but that's not. Something, I mean, that's something you have to decide to do. If someone's complaining at it anyway, and I don't yeah. think you would. So I don't no. think. We, we, we still have the discretion. Yeah. We have the discretion. Right. You, have, you still yeah. have some yeah. discretion. Yes. Okay. So then. Uh, this, this just makes it a better clarification yeah, and protects us also in some of the complaints and stuff. And yeah, it helps people kind of think about these things too, about in regards to just where the restrooms are right. and, and security cameras. If we know that they're there, it's, it's very helpful for us. They could put not applicable. This won't. Some of the security is not going to be required for every single bar or anything like that. It just might be some for some of the more problematic ones. Then you can have them build a plan of operation in regards to that. Move approval. Second. Any further discussion, Mr. Chair? All in the Now, I understand this is only for new applicants, not for renewals. That's is that correct? It's my understanding that this was only for new applicants going forward, not for businesses currently in existence. I believe. Well, that's the way I read it. I think. I'm not sure. I believe it would be required for the um, renewal applications. We should have them on every, every single bar. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, but well, Monica asked though that this would not be for this year. Right. Because we already sent out uh, a number of the applications and everything to people, and well, we have to send them another one. Sorry. Yeah, we'd have to send another. One. So, so the, she asked that this would not be implemented for this year's license. Am I correct on that? So the verbiage that in the, uh, making sure. right into the agenda, that, that, that includes all renewals, though. So it does include, you're saying it does? I would believe so. I'll double check okay. to make sure, but I believe yeah. it was. And, yeah. I, and I want you to know, this is going to be extra paperwork for the applicants and for our staff to go through, but it is bringing another level of information to us available when there are problems. So. Okay. Uh, does it include the employee list and, and all that? That is not included on there. Okay, but that's in the state law, which most people don't know. It's in our ordinance as well, too. It is our have to have a But honestly, list. when I talk to bar owners, nobody knows that. So we, can we include that in there? The only problem I think that would have if you have an employee list, if that changes, you'd constantly yeah. have to update well, it. Well, guess what? Update it. Uh, <laughs> update your employee list. But they could, they could <laughs> be doing that on a weekly basis. Basically. <laughs> it's only paper, it's not clay tablets. I can mention that to Attorney Post then. Because I know that, that that would be where there are issues when there's a after hours violation, let's say. And suddenly everybody, the police come and everybody's suddenly an employee. Right. Are they really? Well, if you're not on the list, you know, I think that's part of the point. So they would have to, every time they get a new employee, they have you to. Got, well, you, have a, you, have a, you have a list somewhere on a bulletin board next to all your other public notices, you know, and you just. Write in the new name, and every two weeks or every month, you print a new one or whatever, and send it to the clerk's office. No, you don't send it to the clerk's office. You, you keep, keep it on, on premise. Oh, oh I it's see. a list of employees. I believe it's employees' addresses, socials, social security. I don't think it's social. No, security. I can't remember. No. Right. I think it's just an employee list. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Contact. So. So you, I'm sorry. You want? Well, I, it's the state law. 
Oh, right. I mean, it's already in our ordinance, but yeah. do you want to add it to the application, I guess? Well, maybe just a reminder that it, so that when people fill out the application, it's in their face that they understand well, that would be FOIA list, and it says, as per state law. Okay. So that would be more in the clerk's office. There'd be one more thing to put in the application for the clerk's, another edit for the application for the clerk's office. For next year. For next year. This, yeah, this does not apply for I this year. That, uh, would it apply to not renewals this year, but any new application coming in? Well, whenever you, I think whenever you roll out the new one, whenever we roll Start out this new one. With new ones? Yeah. Well, well, I mean, this, I thought this was starting with the 10th, so this starts the next licensing year, not this not, not this year, not the 13, right. 13 14. 14. But I mean, what, the question is if someone comes and applies and say it's September. Okay. I think it would apply to the They don't apply to them, right? Yes. Yeah. It's just now because a lot of these things have already been sent out for renewals and okay. stuff. So. Mr. Chairman. All in bars. Employee list, is, is that for every single employee? Dishwasher? Employees. Employees. So you got to have it. Not just bartenders and waitresses. Okay. Yeah, that's that was my question. Is that just for but bartenders? Not contracted employees, like uh, the guy who cleans your exhaust hood. I don't know who that is. Right, or, or the guy that's the DJ or something like that. Uh, that's a good question. How's the DJ get paid? Well, probably by the owner. Is it w 2 don't know. <laughs> or is it just two hundred dollars per contract? Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. But so then the, the bar's closing, and he's well, packing, the question. His, he's packing know, his stuff up, and he's still on the premises. Well, and the band, the band will come, you know, and the band's got his two buddies to help him load the van up. Yeah, the roadies. <laughs> and then they have to be on the list. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's his two buddies. <laughs> yeah. I believe bands are supposed to stop playing a half hour before closing. They, yeah. should, they have to be out of the bar by the closing time. They have to be out of the bar by closing. So. Will this be passed as amended then? Because it's already been introduced to council. As amended for the... Amending the adding the employee list. list. And, well, and everything that's been discussed. There were some changes. I it think should be passed yeah, as amended. Should we hold it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we can pass it as amended. Okay. Okay, is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Who cares? Okay, we have number 11. This is the uh, detailed table of contents for the five. Revocation? No, no, this is uh, basically. Uh, is that the bartender's? Break? No, no, this is the break It's not the bartender's thing. Uh, Jenna, you know, uh, it's just a cosmetic change to the so ordinance, just so people can find the sections more easily. It just listed in the front of the or, or the top of the ordinance, and then you can just oh, okay. click down. Nine hundred two. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. And it just uh, just makes it yeah. Mm -hmm. Clarify. Okay. Move approval. Second. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 One of the polls. That carries. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, this is the new application. Everybody got a copy of the new application? Mm -hmm. Are we skipping 13? Waiting list? Okay, yeah, well, since I said 14, we'll go to 14. Okay. Since somebody wants to talk about the application. Okay, this is a new application form that uh, Monica would like to go across. Uh, well, yeah, a few bullet points where you see over there. I mean, that, that, mm -hmm. that, 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 they can't question that. I've replaced the notice. Look, I. Police department is going to you know, run a check on this, and then your background. Um, so I think there was some other data exchange too. I didn't hear more of this. Yeah. A what? There was something else in there. You know what else was in there that there changed? It was substantially it's different. different. Yeah. Here's the old. Here's yeah. the old and the new. Yeah. Okay. We have we have the driver's. Well, the driver's license, license number is easier to read yeah. when it's written in boxes. I understand. All the manic yeah. district is in on the nose. This is new, these two of these. Well, yeah. What's that in the past? This is pretty much, this is similar. All the manic districts are in yeah. sense. The yeah. second bullet point is yeah. an addition yes, to Yes, that's right. what it is. Yeah, those two right there, that's the two bullet points. Yeah. And then the boxing of ticketed the police report information. It's boxed in rather than just lines. And well, what we have? We're the, the only, in the back for more. The, the only, um, <laughs> Mr. Chairman? All in bars now. In, in the uh, second bullet point, um, where it goes that there's concerns about your arrests, et cetera, falsified, omitted application. You may be required to appear before the license and health, and then maybe perhaps and that could be reason for denial. 
That's down below, just before the signature. It is. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah declared a oh, yes, right. oh, down there. Okay. Right. Now, the, but I, Mr. Chair, if I could for denial of license. Sorry. The have you ever been ticketed, arrested, convicted, or fined? And I think the original. The, the original uh, was, was, was a little more right, comprehensive. Yeah, I, I yeah. think this is more comprehensive than we have Yeah, now. we included civil offenses in the original. I mean, what's a, what's a civil offense? Uh, ticket. To regular ticket? Okay. City laws. Um, and I guess, I guess I'd like to see the idea where right here, it just says date and penalty imposed in a box. I think if we could put it in the question, have you ever been ticketed? If so, if yes, I mean we have yes. I, I just want to make it clear that we expect them to answer what the, what their penalty was too. I mean, it, there is a little box here that says date penalty. What says it? If yes, complete the section below. Yeah. Use the other side if necessary. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess that should be pretty much covered. Yeah. Not that we're going to deny anybody. Monica had a question about omitting that. I think that was omitting what? Fifteen. Omitting those boxes to the. Self-reporting, actually, from right. Yeah, well, you know, I, I had a couple citizens. One gentleman is active in the bar restaurant business in southeast Wisconsin. He said, "Why do we even ask? Why do we even ask them to put down? You know, because because if they don't put down everything, we don't necessarily deny them." What well, is candor? We take a look at the candor. You know, that's part of the character. Yeah. We take a look at that. Yeah. How honest is the guy? Because we have the discretion, with very broad discretion. Yeah. Not a right but we're running the background check. We have their record. Why do we even? Why do we make them go through the idea? Of, is it? Is it the idea? It's like sometimes people don't know their actual record, and then when it stares in well, their face, they they realize. <laughs> Doesn't make our job we easier. Are, to we've, already had, we've already had where they write something down, and we don't have that on the record when we get it. Yeah, you know, and so I don't. I don't have a problem with leaving this on. I don't, I don't either. I'm just letting you know what I had. Somebody. Do you asked. know what Monica's real? What she thought, why? She just thought it doesn't matter? I think matter. because she was concerned that because that many times their answer is incomplete. That would be. Yes. But yeah. Anne has a little comment? Oh, well, Monica yes, that's exactly what Monica has. Yeah. Okay. That a lot of times their answers are incomplete and we run the background check anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I think this looks good just the way it is. I think we should leave it. I mean, the new, the new, the new, the new, yeah, the new, the new form new, that yeah. uh, we'll approval second by taking off the question about tickets or leaving. No, no, no. Oh, wait, 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 we oppose. Okay, let's go back to number 13 now. Okay, I asked for this to be put on here. Uh, we had the gentleman from the restaurant that's in the, the building on 70th Street. He came in front of us, he had applied for a license, and we told him we don't have another license, uh, a regular uh, uh, tavern license. It was a B, beer and wine only, only, that he was applying for. No, he applied for the combination, right? which we didn't have. He applied for the have. Class B tavern originally. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then, and so then he wanted uh, uh, just a beer and wine license. Now, the one may be coming available in May. Mm -hmm. So he came down and he applied for it. Well, he had, I guess he had talked to you and he, he called came, me. I had a he, conversation he, with he call, he called me and he says, okay, no one else has applied for this. If the owners of the building don't apply for it, is he on the top of the list? Now, we don't have a policy. Right. I, I said, personally, I would think that if you're the first one here, no one has come. Yes, I would think that you're first on the list. He was told by staff that it's up to us. Right. And, and that we may give it to somebody else. Right. I, said, I said, everything else being equal, I would give it to him. Right. He also you know, didn't agree with the quota system. Right. He said if Donald Trump came and wanted to build a casino, I said, well, we have an ability to go over quota. Right. I said, but honestly, I don't think you, the operation you're going to run will qualify under what we had used as our guidelines in right. the past for that. Well, I said, everything else being equal, if someone else wanted, came in and, like, you know, the, the, the pro current property owner or the, where the license was as of 90 days, and uh, I said, I would gladly give it to him. 
I, I said, as far as I'm concerned, you are. He is the top of the list. But you're right. We don't have a policy on right. it. I don't think it's been a problem in the past, but. I don't think we should have a well, policy. I think, I, I, I think, I think we should take a look at well, and, and then and another the case what in our discretion we think is the best available the applicant. Do what's best no, for yeah. Now, Monica had mentioned something about a letter from the state. Are you familiar with that at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, yes. Yes. Okay. We, we uh, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> we, did, we did have that issue, um, oh gosh, also, I don't know how many years ago. We had at one time uh, three applicants going for one open license. And it was up to us to decide which was the best option for that license, and we did decide. And that's back when that, I can only remember his name, I think it's Gus, he was going for that license on Oklahoma. I mean, I don't know, Oklahoma and we yeah. had three applications yeah. at that time for one license. And it was, it was our discretion where we felt the best opportunity for that license would be, and, and um, that's who got that license. Okay. So, and, and I think we should keep that option open. I don't, I don't want to have a, here's the guy on top of the list, and he's got a little, and then all of a sudden here comes this really great opportunity, and we don't have it. And, we'll, and we have to give it to well, him because of you know the main reason you know, being a business owner is like you know this he, you know can he move ahead with because right. they're going to build a patio well I don't know right. if they're going to you know, prove me you know so he's, he's got to sit there and wait but there was a problem with the with his which we didn't know anything about with, from the state you got a letter from the state about that no well it's just something that was a legal opinion from the Wisconsin Alcohol and Tobacco Enforcement and it's precisely as you two said that it's not something where we want to have just first come first serve right. you have to. Um, value the health, safety, welfare in the community, and what's going to be best economically for the city. So you don't want to have a first come first serve basis. I agree with that one hundred percent. If you okay. have two people that are equal and you yeah. want to do the first for first, then that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to just leave everything the way it is. Yep. Are they so moving you know. place on file? Sorry. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, okay, now discussion regarding question relative to arrest or conviction record on applications. So well, we did touch on that a little bit. I think that was basically just Monica's concern about what yeah. was yeah. Mr. Chair? All in way. Um, I, again, I get some feedback from people in the community and the business. Other communities seems don't look back as far on someone's record we say I believe ever <laughs> yeah. and some communities only ask you like the last three years the last five years I ever. don't have a problem with ever in this case I, I don't I think in, you know, we've ran in the past with someone that's had a horrible record a long 20 time. years in yeah. and we still approve them. yeah and we, and we still approve them but yeah. but we know what that was and you know and I, I, I'd rather see that they don't have the right to the license. It's a privilege, so I think we go back as far as it went. On on the police report, that's going to happen regardless. It's going to be forever. It's the police report. Oh yeah. I think I think what the question is is on the actual physical application that they have to put in for. Well, that's a good is, question. Is do we want to say we want to know what you did the last five years? After five years ago, I don't really care. Not necessarily. Don't care. I'm going to see it anyways. But. Do we have to have somebody to go, oh my God, was that 72 or was that 73? I guess you're right there. Now we're talking about changing the application. It was 72. Oh, and then you come in front well, of the... Well, because she's uh, got it uh, separate. You, you come in front of the committee and it was 73 and you said, well, you lied on your application. Yeah. Oh. It was 72, yeah, yeah, not 72. You're right. We're still, we're still changing. We're still changing. I have to have that right on. I think the system we have right now is, is, is very workable. You know, I don't, don't think we've had any problems in the past. <laughs> so, Do you have any problem with the, that you know of or anything? No. Police Department, you know... We have no okay. problems. Yeah. And uh, sometimes people will generalize it too. They'll yeah. Say, you know, multiple speeding tickets. Yeah. And, you know, right. it's just, you're looking at, are they being forthcoming? Is yeah. it 72 or 73? I don't care. That doesn't it, make a it, difference. It does make, right. Just, you know, are they being forthcoming? If, if they're you know, wrong on that. And how about the clerk's office? You know, you should just, do you have a lot of problems with them filling it out when it's yes, correct? Yes. They don't <laughs> understand the question. Oh, they, Kathy, understand how can we make it clearer? They question us, do I need to put this, do I need to put this, do I need to put that? I don't remember when this happened. Oh, I don't know what I was charged with back then. It's just, you know, and then they say, why do you need this if you're going to run it anyhow? Well, you can just tell me because I'm told to ask because the question. Because that's the way it is. <laughs> the way it is the that's the process. process. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so... Uh, well, do, let me ask. Do, 
do most people fill the application right up there? Or do they take it home? They fill it right there. They expect it to be a one, two, three process. They think it's like getting a dog license. Yes. Here's my money. They think it's just quick and simple. Mm -hmm. and then, but that's got to be mostly first time applicants, I assume. Because I assume every other community has a similar process. Maybe, yeah. I don't know what. Uh, it's been a long time since I got a license in a different city. If. Mr. Chairman, let's, let's just. Let's, uh, Let's just go back to that. If we had on there, have you ever been arrested, convicted, or fined for violations for our state, including felonies, yes or no? And that's it. Why do we make them fill everything out? And again, I don't, for candor, okay. Um, I mean, we're gonna see it, and it's clear in there. We are gonna see it. It's, I, I, I almost have to agree with you. It's and, and again, I'm going to go back into the was that 75 or was that 73? Oh man, and you're, you're trying to beat your head in to figure out or what did I do back then? I, I think sure. all the way. I, I agree with Alderman Barzak on that, but I, I think if we're going to take out the listing, we need to put something in there that says your criminal background will be checked. Certain types of violations may automatically disqualify you for a license, and some may put your ability to get a license in question, or some, some sort of verbiage there. I think the idea that we make them put down their background at least puts it in their head that, that, we're, paying, that we're looking and paying attention. And, and I think if we're going to take out the question and answer portion of that, we need to reinforce to them that this is not a dog license that we just hand out to anybody. That that it's that it's something that we look at your background and what try to figure out what kind of person you are, what kind of part time you're But I think that if you take a look um, at that second bullet point, I mean, you're 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 placing the applicant notice that look, if there's concerns you may have as as, as mm -hmm. it relates to your application, or that they falsified or failed to put something down. Well, now we're not going to even have them put it down. Well, well, well I mean, we're going to put the way it is right yeah, now. Right the way it is right now, but we're, we're considering taking out that question uh, yeah. and answer part. You'd rather just leave it the way yeah, it is. Yeah, let's place it in my notice. Look, no, but I'm just, it, I'm, I'm going like to I'm gonna go to the clerk's office. They're sitting there. The phone's ringing. they got stuff to do. Yeah, People want to get a taxi. It, or, you know, they got questions about stuff. And here comes, oh, why do I have to know? It has been for 26, 25 years. It has been the most confusing part of the application for the years that I've been on the council and on the committee. It always has been that particular area has always been the biggest part of confusion. No doubt about it. that. You know, and, and again, I wouldn't be saying, again, saying, let's the last five years. It, it, something like that, or, um, you know, it, in the past five years. Even though we're going to see your entire app, no, no, you have to put that on there. Even though we're going to see your entire application, we want to know what happened in the last five. Well, I, I go or back. Not at all. I, I go back to the, the my, my other point is that where someone puts down something that we don't have. Right. That's like, I well, wait a second, where, well, I don't think we've ever from? denied anybody based on something they put that we didn't have. We've, been, sure. we've actually said, thanks for your honesty, we didn't know about that shoplifting work. You know. Well, there was a there was a drug charge. I remember one time, we had nothing on it. You know, so we quizzed them on and everything. Can I we approve this? this? I think you know, prove it as is. We already did. We're, we're having a discussion. Could this we is ask? Discussion? Could we ask to see other communities' license application? We're so sure. we'd have maybe four or five in front of us: Greenfield, New Berlin, Tulsa. See what they have. Tulsa. See, see what they have and see how they address that same situation. And then maybe we'll get up. That's pretty good. Sounds Why like didn't we think of regional that? cooperation here, Gary? I like it. <laughs> Could we do that? <laughs> we can still place that in file, but okay. So, so we're going to leave everything the way it is, but we may, we may change it. Do uh, you get that as far as applications from other communities just to see what they have? Okay. Uh, do I have a motion? Right Pardon me. I'll get right on. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Put your chair up. Morning. Okay. I, I guess I'm envisioning a day after what I saw last night at Administration Finance that this application will be online someday. I think in which I, we're probably looking at doing all that stuff eventually, right? Which would be even tend to be more streamlined, right? I mean, we hope so. or they're just going to put a link to their CCAP. <laughs> See the attached long PDF document, ten pages long. But 
<laughs> okay, do I have a motion to place this on the so Second. Hey, Alderman Roll is over there. Uh, any, any further discussion? <laughs> I didn't hear it, but I've been All in favor. <laughs> We oppose. Okay, Mr. Carries, and I believe that's it. That's it. That is it. Move adjournment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm opposed. Okay. <laughs>